Hi guys and welcome to a very exciting video. So today I am introducing you all to my new horse box. As you may have already known, I've wanted a horse box for so long because I um, don't have a trailer license, so I've not been able to transport the horses by myself at all, so I've always relied on my parents. But I no longer have to do that because here we have my new horse box. Now, we've been looking for a new horse box for a while. Um, it had to be three and a half ton because on my license I can't drive more than that. You have to do like a HGV license if you want to do more than three and a half tons on the road. So it needed to be under that and we also wanted a stallion box. So three and a half tonners are just flying out the door at the minute. It was really, really hard to find one, but we found the perfect box and I'm gonna show it you right now. So this is the box. So it's actually only four months old, the actual horse box itself, but the chassis is from a van. So it's a conversion, it's a van conversion that's been made into a horse box. And so it doesn't particularly have like it's not like an Equitrek or anything like that. It's not like a horse box brand. Um, I'm not too sure who the horse box converters were for this, um, but it is on a Citroen chassis, which is like an 09 chassis, but the horse box itself is actually brand new. And I'll show you some of the features of it. So this is the inside of the box and as you can see it has a full stallion partition so this is an entire full wall. I'll show you me against it in a moment just to give you an idea of the size. It is huge and the previous owners owned a stud so they've used this a few times um, as you can tell by the flooring that I've not washed yet. I washed the outside. Um, but yeah so they've had a 172 stallion in here. Um, so we know that all of our horses are going to fit really nicely. So the partition moves by me just pulling this up and to the side. And then I do the same for at the top. So this swings open and again padding on this side. And then there's this section. Apologies that I've not cleaned the floor but I was so excited to show you guys that I didn't get time to finish the inside. So obviously it has places to tie your horse up, we've got tie hooks here and then one on this side, solid partition and the best thing about this and the one thing we really wanted was a solid wall into the grooms area and of course we've got like our windows on either side, that one obviously you can't see because the door's open but there's plenty of room for Mr Smokey or even Mr Chili in here and then there's a Luton above the cabin um, where the driver's side are. We have a camera for watching the horses while they're in transit. There's also a reverse camera on it um, that needs slightly adjusting, but that's brilliant because honestly, it's such a big box. It's really like difficult to learn to drive this. And of course, you can get into the groom's area via the door and out to the back. So I'll show you from the reverse, so this is the back obviously, there's the camera up at the top, we have the door that locks and then we've got this um, rhino access step so it's like reinforced so no one can go into the back of you as well. And then this little section is the groom's area, so there's no like living type things with this box, like there's no kitchen or things that you can sometimes get in boxes. Um, but we are going to be adding some more items in here. So at the moment there's these two benches that are super comfy and there is also a little light when that's on, um, which is brilliant. And we're going to be putting some tack storage in here and lots of other things that I'm going to be sort of doing a video on. I'm gonna have all items just for the box, like grooming kits, like box grooming kits um, in here and certain storage things going up so I'll keep an eye on that when I'm doing the box up and then so obviously there's a grill on this door so it's all nice and secure 
and into the back. So I'll just give you a bit of an idea of the size by popping you on the tripod. So the main criteria when we bought this box was that Chili was going to fit in it because obviously he's 17 hands and we struggled with our trailer to fit him in because he stands so tall. But as you can see, the box is absolutely huge. So there's actually eight foot, I believe, of head space. So plenty of space for Mr. Chili and definitely enough space for little Smokey. And it's got a really good payload. So these are all the really Really important things we found when looking for a box and um, it would have been really easy just to go for a very pretty one and um, but we actually love the color of this burnt orange it's a bit brighter on camera than it actually is it looks a bit more red in this but it's actually more of a really burnt orange color so I am very excited to soon be loading this up and getting it ready to go out for shows and fun days. There is so much that I'll be able to do now that I have the independence of having a box rather than having to rely on other people with the trailer. So all we need to do now is just put things up like saddle racks and storage in the back which I will be sharing in a video with you shortly. And then we will be all ready and raring to go on lots of day trips out. So the cab itself needs a little bit of a spruce up because it has been in more of a used condition because this is actually the old part of what was a van. Um, but it is super comfy and it's actually really easy to drive. I thought going from like literally just driving a car to driving a massive horse box um, would be really difficult but it's actually really nice to drive so I'm really happy about that. Obviously I've not driven it with the horses in yet so I'm going to take it for a few test drives and then we'll pop some horses in and have some very fun days out. So I hope you all like the look of the box. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I'm very excited to take Smokey out to the beach and to cross country and to lots of different things that we've not been able to do up to now um, in this. So I just need to get some practice in of driving it and driving it with him in and then we will be away. But for now, I'm going to leave you guys here and I will see you all soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you get a notification every single time I post and I'll see you all soon. Bye guys!